Good evening. We'd like to welcome you to the Trinity Baptist Church in Westfield, North Carolina. And if you don't have a church to attend or you're looking for a church to attend, I want to take time to invite you to come and be with us in any or all of our services. Our Sunday morning services start at 10 o'clock. We have Sunday school preaching at 11, Sunday nights at 6, Wednesday nights at 7. We're located at 1233 Collins Town Road in Westfield, North Carolina. And we also have an FM transmitter for those that are sick and unable to come inside. They can come to the parking lot and they can sit in their vehicle, tune their radio to 92.9 FM, and hear what's going on inside the church house. Be able to get in on it as far as what they can hear. And uh, we're thankful for that ministry that God has blessed us with. And that's one thing that God's blessed us with through COVID. And uh, we sure do appreciate the Lord being so good. Thank you for viewing this evening. This is our Wednesday evening Facebook service for those that are shut in or unable to come to church for work or some other reason, maybe a caretaker and they can't be there on Wednesday nights. We do this to hopefully be an extra blessing to them with the help of the Lord. So thank you so much for viewing or whenever you're viewing, thank you so much for that. And I hope that this, this uh, video this evening would be a help to each and every one of you. I want to go to the Lord in prayer, and then we're going to sing a congregational number together, try to do this a little bit similar to a Wednesday night service that we would have here at the church. But anyway, we'll be, we'll be having services, Lord willing, tonight at 7 at the church, so pray for that. Pray for all the services where God's word is preached, and I thank God that he's able to answer prayer. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we love you. We thank you for the privilege to pray. Please answer these prayer requests that we've mentioned. I pray for the lost most of all that they'll get saved and those that's backslid, they'll get right with you and help us all to serve you. I pray for our missionaries tonight. I pray for Brother Brent and his family, Brother Brent Rochester and his family, Lord. Continue to bless them and use them, God, for wherever they're at and all the missionaries, God, that are out there doing what you want them to do, God, bless them. I pray for all the services going on tonight, God, that you bless those midweek services and Lord, we'll just thank you for what you do. You sure are good to us to allow us to be able to do these videos, and I thank you for it. I hope it's a help to those. Lord, I just ask you to use it for your glory and for your honor. And deal with that lost sinner nearest hell, God, but they'll be saved. And we'll thank you for what you do. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Lord, touch those that are sick in body. Please, Lord, raise them up physically. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, we're going to look at a song here in the old church hymnal called At the Cross. Somebody told me a while back this was their mother's favorite song. They remembered hearing their mother do this song. And uh, if you're viewing, you probably can figure out who you are. And I, I just, this come to mind as we're making this video. And I hope this will be a blessing to you. It's called At the Cross. We'll do a little bit of this song today. I want you to sing along if you are to where you can. And uh, great hymn, great hymn right here in the Word of God. Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for such a worm as I? At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Was it for crimes that I had done? He groaned upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love. At the cross where I first saw the light And the burden of my heart rolled away It was there by faith I received my sight And now I am happy all the day But drops of grief can never repay The debt of love I Myself away is all that I can do. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. 
And now I am happy all the day. Oh, that's the truth. Now I'm happy all the day. Boy, we ought to think about that. <coughs> I tell this sometimes at the church house right here where we're making these videos. I tell the congregation sometimes what to think about what we think about. Think about that just a minute. What to think about what we think about. What to think about how good God's been to us and what a blessing God's been to us. And boy, how he's took care of us. He's met the need. Thank God he always does. I sure am glad that he does. I want to do another song for you right here in just a minute or two. And this is an older song called Come Morning. Come Morning. Great song. I hope it'll be a help to you. I pray the Lord would help me to sing it today. Right before we sing it, let me tell you where to be turning in the Word of God for the message here in just a minute. Be taking that good old authorized King James Bible and turning with us to the book of Luke, chapter number 6. Luke, chapter number 6. So that's where we'll be at, Lord willing, here in just a little while this evening. Again, thank you for viewing. I want to do this good old song called Come Morning. I was thinking about this as we was driving down to make these videos. I love the message in it. <laughs> Just think about what it says. Come morning. God's children too long have been burdened. They are longing for heaven's green shores. Where heartaches are left far behind us. And burdens are carried no more. Come morning. I'll walk by the river. I'll rest neath the evergreen tree. So I'll carry my cross through the midnight. Come morning, there's glory for me. Sometimes I despised and rejected and I question oh father how long then I take one more look at Mount Calvary and it gives me the strength to go home come morning I'll walk by the river I'll rest neath the evergreen trees So I'll carry my cross through the midnight Come morning, there's glory for me So I'll carry my cross through the midnight Come morning, there's glory for me Man, boy, I like that song right there. Hope that was a blessing to you. If you hadn't already turned, be turning in that good old authorized King James Bible to the book of Luke chapter number six. Luke chapter number six. We'll be down about verse number 27. Luke chapter six, verse number 27. Let me get this guitar laid down here. And we'll look right into the word of God. And I thank God so much for his word. And I desire you prayers. Father, as we look at the Word of God this evening, I pray you'd help us, God, that we might just be a help to somebody. I thank you for the opportunity. I thank you for this open door. I pray for our service tonight at 7 and all the services tonight that are going on, the midweek prayer meeting services. Some had them last night. Some of them will have them tomorrow night, on Thursday night. But I pray for them. And God, everywhere your words preach, God, you'd bless them in a great, great way. Thank you so much for the Word of God. And Lord, I just pray you'd help us to be a blessing and we'll thank you. I pray you'd deal with the lost that they'll get saved. Keep dealing with them, Lord. And those that saved, that God, they would be encouraged. That the Holy Ghost of God would get a hold of them and encourage them. God, meet the need. And I need encouragement. We all do. We'll thank you for what you do. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Boy, ain't God good. Ain't God good. Luke chapter 6, we're going to be in verse number 27, but I want to read down through verse number 26, 
And then we'll get into verse number 27. Jesus said in Luke chapter 6, verse number 20, And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Verse 26, woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Again, he says false prophets. May I remind you today that there are a lot of false prophets out there. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Can I say this today? And I'm not trying to be disrespectful whatsoever. There are so-called preachers that are not saved. There are deacons that are not saved. There are Sunday school teachers that are not saved. There's choir members that are not saved. We might as well just realize that. We might as well just wake up and realize that not everybody that says that they're saved are saved. You say, preacher, you named all those folks. What about somebody that just claims to be saved? Maybe they're not a preacher or a deacon or a Sunday school teacher or a choir member or a special singer or whatever. Listen, anybody, listen, everybody, excuse me, let me cough just a minute. <coughs> excuse me. Everybody that says that they're saved according to what Jesus said in Matthew 7 are not saved. So we got to realize that there are also false prophets, and he said in verse number 26, woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. So did their fathers to the false prophets. Why? Because the false prophets always told them what they wanted to hear. Just exactly what they wanted to hear. That's what they told them. So they spoke well. Everyone spoke well of them. But Jesus said in verse number 27, but I say unto you which hear. Now we got to listen, right? We got to hear. We got to pay attention. Me and a Friend was talking about that, how some people pay attention, some people don't pay attention. Verse number 27, but I say unto you which hear. Now here it comes. Now get ready for this. A lot of people don't like this, but it's what Jesus said. Love your enemies. Love your enemies. Now that don't mean we love their sin. That don't mean we all, all the time love what they're doing, but we all love their soul. Want to want to see them get saved by the grace of God. Want to see them get born again. He said, love your enemies. He said, do good to them which hate you. Now listen, this is hard for the flesh to do. But if we're walking in the spirit, thank God, I believe with the help of the Lord, we can do this. What? Love your enemies. He says, do good to them which hate you. Bless them, verse 28 says, bless them which curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you. Amen? Hey, love them. Try to do good to them. Hey, don't do like them. Do like what God wants us to do. That's what God wants us to do. You say, preacher, I'll treat them right if they treat me right. Anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. Lost people can do that. They can treat people right that treat them right. But God's people, walking in the Spirit with the help of the Lord, can do these things. Love your enemies. He goes on to say, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. It's no fun to be used, amen? It's no fun to be despitefully used. It's no fun when people curse us. It's no fun when people hate us. It's no fun when somebody is trying to be an enemy to us. But the Bible tells us to, do what God says for us to do. And that's to love their soul and pray for them. Pray God would help them. Pray God would open their eyes. You know why they're acting like they are? Because they're not right with God. Just like me and you used to not be right with God. We used to not be saved. I haven't always been saved. There's a time in my life, hey, I lived 19 years lost. I think about that. But I, what I'm saying is this. I got saved when I was 19. And listen, I wasn't always what I am today, and, I, and I, I still got room for improvement, buddy. I'm telling you that. I'm, I want to be closer to God. 
I want my life to be more pleasing to him. This old flesh right here, you know people say I can't wait for a glorified body because they're talking about sickness and pain and things like that. Hey, I can say amen to that. But I can't wait for a glorified body to have a body that will always want to do what God wants to do because this old flesh sure don't. This old flesh sure don't. My goodness gracious. He tells us to what? He says, love your enemies. Do good to them which hate you. Bless them that curse you. Pray for them which despitefully use you. He says in verse 29, and unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. Him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. He says in verse number 31, And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. He's saying, treat people like you want people to treat you. If I want people to be kind to me, then I need to be kind to them. If I want somebody to treat me right, I need to try to treat people right. Look at verse number 31. This is very, very important. I think we need to get this. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. <clears throat> well, that's something I think we need to remember, don't you? Number one, because Jesus said it. Number two, because thank God it's right. Because Jesus said it. As ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. He says in verse 32, For if ye love them which love you, what thank, what thank have ye? What's that to be thankful for? If we love those that love us, he said, For sinners also love those that love them. We're no better than the sinners if we just love people that love us. We're just like them. Anybody can do that. Anybody can love somebody that loves them. Anybody can be kind to somebody that's kind to them. Anybody can be good to somebody that's good to them. He says this, Verse number 33, and if you do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? What's that to be thankful for if we just do good to people that are good to us? For sinners also do even the same. Sinners do that. Verse 34, and if you lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. I mean, sinners can do that. Verse 35, he tells us this. Now let me, before I read verse 35, Listen, all these verses are important. And a lot of folk claim to be saved can't stand these verses. Can't stand these verses. I said claim to be saved. Claim to be. Again, not everyone that saith to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But here's the thing. A lot of people can't stand these verses. Why? Because it goes against what they really want to do. Verse 35 says, But love ye your enemies, and do good and lend. That's what he's just been talking about. But love your enemies, do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great. That's, that, that's how you get rewarded. Your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. You'll have great reward. Verse 36 says, Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. <clears throat> now, excuse me. Be ye therefore merciful as your Father also is merciful. There's no question that our Father is merciful. No question about that. In my mind, I know without a shadow of a doubt, my Heavenly Father is a merciful God. He's a merciful God. Well, if I want to be more like Him, how should I be? Merciful. Be ye therefore merciful, Jesus said, as your Father also is merciful. Be therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Now, I'm going to stop there. We normally go a little longer. But tonight, I'm going to stop there because I don't want to have to rush through verse number 37. Lord willing, next Wednesday night, we'll pick up at Luke chapter 6, verse number 37, and on down through a few more verses. But I hope this has been a help to you. You say, preacher, that stings. Well, you know what? It does a little bit, don't it? It does a little bit. But here's the thing. It's what we need. It's what we need. One of my cousins, I live, I'll close with this. One of my cousins was telling me about going to Grandma's house, Grandma Nichols' house, when he was a young boy. And I am privileged and thankful to be able to live my wife and I raised our kids there 
our grandchildren get to come and visit us there, but I have the privilege to live in my grandma and grandpa Nichols' old house and uh, love it there. Thank, thank God for it. But one of my cousins who is older than me, he said the other day, boy, I remember going to that house. He said, I remember Grandma Nichols tanning my rear end a few times. That's what he said. You know, you know what he was saying? It stung. It stung. Sometimes it stings, don't it? But here's the thing. You know what else he said? He said, I needed every one of them. I needed every one of them. You know, sometimes the Word of God stings, but we need it. We need it, don't we? We need to get focused back in on what Jesus says. Amen. I hope this has been a help to you this evening. Thank you so much for viewing. And uh, Lord willing, we'll pick back up here right where we left off next Wednesday night on our 6 p.m. Wednesday night Facebook service. Pray for our service tonight at the church at 7. We'll pray for you. And until next week, we love you the Lord. God bless you is my prayer.